And so this is caught with porn 911, what to do when the bomb goes off. This is what I do all day, all week. I'm a counselor in private practice, and I usually get the phone call when somebody's been caught, when suddenly porn comes out and everything hits the fan, and it's usually a very panicked response. This is the bomb going off. This is the guy on the phone going, you got, we got to get in now. I'm going to lose my marriage, my family, my job, and they can't see straight. And it's weird, but I feel called to work in this area. Thanks, Mark. Because um, I, I watch the Lord set a lot of people free. And that's what I'm doing here today is this is the first level. This is kind of getting to the first phase of once the bomb goes off, what do you need to know? What do you need to do? What does it look like? Because uh, I love working with guys that are, are recovering from this or coming out of it and the marriages, because you got to do both. And it's a different dynamic to work with that. So uh, these are things that I have learned working through, uh, working with couples, men over these years, I want to share with you guys today. So again, first, that, that bomb goes off. His hair is on fire. Oh my gosh, you got to save me. We got to get in now. I got to get in yesterday. And the wife, her hair is on fire. Where did this come from? Didn't see it coming. How could this be here and now, what does this mean for our children, for our family, what people know at church? Because most of the guys I work with are believers that really do love the Lord, I work with pastors. And there's an added level of shame and hiding in that as well. And so you can imagine, literally, it goes nuclear pretty quickly. So the smoke clears, you see the carnage, now what? 